was that? Roll the tape. Roll the tape. What was that? Good morning! Guys, the sleeping in era has officially ended because it is 6.15 right now. I am up. Well, I'm not up, but I'm kind of up. I'm awake, which is a good start. Last night, Cal and I were like, you know what we need to do? We need to just set our alarms for 6 and just get up and start the day. No matter how tired we are, we just have to get up and get on with our day. So that's what we've done. Well, Cal is up. He literally got up at 6. And I told him last night the best thing to do to wake up is to get up, go wash your face, like splash water on your face and then put on like a happy song to like get the vibes going for the day He did that. He killed it. Did I? No, absolutely not. I just snoozed my alarm <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but I'm laying in bed and then all of a sudden I hear treat people with kindness so loud It was such a vibe <gasps> But now it's 6 15. I have so many things I want to get done today. So Let's get up Look at us, up before the sun. Do you remember that TikTok sound? Am I better than everyone? You made me breakfast too? Oh, you're the best. I don't usually take showers in the morning, but my hair is so crazy and I always do an Olaplex mask before I wash it and you have to have wet hair before you put the Olaplex mask in sometimes I'll just wet my hair over the sink but this morning I think I'm just gonna do a nice hot shower wet my hair do my skincare like it just sounds like a vibe <laughs> mask is in cozy matching set is on tell me why i feel like i have my life together it is 7 42 a.m it's still so early i feel like today is going to be a really good day but first of all before i get started on anything i need to clean the office surprise surprise i feel like this happens in every single vlog but like look at this <laughs> Um, yeah, she needs to be cleaned up. The thing is, all of this laundry is clean. I just haven't put it away. Because one day at my part-time job, Cal said that he put a bunch of clean clothes in the office because all of my clothes are obviously in this wardrobe. He put them in here on a pile on the ground and was like, you just have to put them away when you get home. I was like, yeah, of course. And then I got home and I guess I just uh, didn't do it. And do you want to know how long ago that was? Three days. Three, maybe even four. Four days. So... Let's just let's clean this up and then we should journal together because I used to be so good at doing my journal Like I do it every single morning without fail and I haven't done it in <laughs> I think I did it on May 1st. Today is May 10th. I think I did it on May 1st and then I haven't done it since, but I like forced myself to because I was like, new mom's new me, gonna get my life together, back on track with journaling. That didn't happen. Don't even think I did it in April. But since we're up so early, we can do that. But yeah, let's um let's clean up the sh tidy i feel so much better about my life also i listened to a greatest hits of the 80s playlist while i was cleaning and it was such a vibe honestly i live for listening to throwback songs like they just bring the best nostalgic serotonin boost ever and i love listening to the 80s because i don't know about you guys but growing up i played sing star like the playstation game so much like i swear that game was my whole entire childhood and i think we had like every single disc but i remember 
remember playing the 80s one so much. So I feel like that was such a perfect start to the morning. Also, I made a green tea. One thing I love about giving up coffee is how long I can go in the morning before feeling like I need a green tea and then the green tea being enough. Like I've been up for two hours. It's like 8.30 now. And I was like, mm, I may as well make my green tea now because I am FaceTiming my friend Bella at nine and I cannot drink a drink when it's hot. Like it takes me so long. I need it to cool down. So I was like, I'll make it now. When I work at my part-time job, sometimes I'll get up at 7.30 a.m. and I won't have any caffeine at all until like 11 or 12. Whereas in the past, I would have to have a coffee like as soon as I woke up. Anyway, I'm going to do my journal now. I still have been using the five minute journal. Well, like whenever I actually have been journaling. But I still really recommend this. So I'll link it below for you guys. It's just so quick. Like it's called the five minute journal, but it takes like two minutes in the morning, three minutes at night. It's not like five in the morning, five at night. So it's so fast. And one thing I really love is that it has a daily quote for each day. So today it is not me getting sidetracked by my last journal entry. Today's quote is, if we learn to open our hearts, anyone, including the people who drive us crazy, can be our teacher. So there you have it. The tea is being spilt and I'm here for it. Oh my God. <laughs> Take a deep breath. <laughs> What? This will change your life. <laughs> Trust me on it. Classic. I feel you. Why? What? I'm dead, I'm dead. Literally the same. Oh my god, guys, I'm on FaceTime with Bella right now and I tell her that I broke my vlog camera and she's like, I literally did the same thing. Look, it's the same. And it won't close. No. Because <gasps> yours bend too far forward now. Yes, yeah, it literally goes like all the way forward and I'm like, I don't know why I would want this. <laughs> Mine though, I did kind of drop it. So Same. That's on me. Same. Did you drop yours? I don't know how, but I knocked it off the bench and then it just like was on the ground broken. <laughs> but like it wasn't recording when it fell, so I can't tell if it was me. I mean, it has to have been me. Like I am the problem. It's no, me, but I like. Literally can't close. Same. But I don't want to pay for it to get fixed. No, same. <laughs> okay, I just got off the FaceTime with Bella. That was so much fun. We hadn't FaceTimed in so long. I cannot believe we both have broken our cameras in the same way and it happened at the same time. Like how? I don't know. It's just crazy to me that she's on the other side of the world, breaks her camera, and on this side, break mine the exact same way. What? Also, she told me that I enunciate really well in my YouTube videos. And now I feel like I'm going to be overthinking everything I say and how I say it for the rest of the day. So enjoy that. But now I I do actually need to get started with my work for today because it is five past ten and I do have a bunch of things that I want to get done the main thing I want to do is finish up <clears throat> I feel like there's almond stuff in my throat. I made a snack of sultanas and almonds because I was starting to get hungry. You know when you eat almond and the skin or whatever it is gets like stuck in your throat? I feel like it's about to happen. One moment. I think we're good. <clears throat> also, I still feel like I'm losing my voice. This has been happening for like four days now. I don't know what's going on. But the main thing I want to do today is finish up a vlog that I want to post tonight. It's only Wednesday today, but I went to the Alt-J concert last week and I filmed a concert Get Ready With Me. And I think I want to post my Get Ready With Me concert vlogs as just bonus videos. So I've edited most of it. I reckon I have about three hours left of work to do on it. So that's kind of like the main thing I want to get done today. I do also have this this Sunday's video to edit as well which I have started but it does have a brand sponsorship in it and that is due on my Saturday their Friday because they're an American company but the earlier I post it the more likely it is to get approved on time to post on Sunday so I would love to try and get some of that edited today if not I can work on that tomorrow I did pick up two extra shifts at my part-time job this week so I'm going to have work today's Wednesday Sunday Monday Tuesday have today off work Thursday Friday have Saturday off and then go back to my actually I only work Sunday because then I'm on annual leave anyway it's just kind of like a busy week but I think I should be able to finish up Sunday's video tomorrow if need be but I'm literally just gonna start editing and see if I can get this concert vlog done as soon as possible export it upload it <laughs> cup of the tea cup of the tea tea of the cup no cup of <laughs> literally what the f 
fuck was that? Roll the tape. Roll the tape. What was that? Cut, cut, cut. Delete, delete, delete. This is my third cup of tea of the day. Wow, when you get up early, it feels like the day goes on for ages. People getting up at 5 and 6 a.m., they have like basically two days in one. Anyway, I nearly finished editing my video. I reckon I've got about 30 minutes, maybe, left on it. And it is 5 to 12. But Kel just let me know that he was going to the gym. And I was planning on going to the gym today, so I told him to text me if there's anybody else there. And he said the gym is completely empty. So even though I have this tea that I haven't finished drinking and this video that I haven't finished editing, I think I'm going to take a break and go to the gym. So I need to get changed and get to the gym before somebody else in our apartment gets there. Okay, let's go. I just got back from the gym. Also, I don't know if I told you this morning, but I'm not wearing any fake tan at the moment. Could you tell? I feel like with fake tan, it's always a big deal for the person who's wearing it, but nobody else really notices or cares. So let me know if you can tell. Because it's going into winter, and I honestly just cannot be bothered doing my fake tan every single week. Also, it kind of doesn't make sense to be tanned in winter. I love how I'm saying that, but when Kel and I lived in Canada and we lived at the ski resort, I literally was doing my fake tan in negative 30 degrees Celsius. Damn, that was such commitment. I'm going to have a shower, make a smoothie. I think I might just make lunch as well because it's like, I have no idea where I put my phone. But I think it's like 1pm right now and then I need to go ahead and finish up the video that I was editing before for tonight. Export, upload, all of that fun stuff. Sorry, I'm just like taking my shoe off right now in case you're like, girl, what the f*** are you doing? So that's the plan. I didn't end up making a to-do list today. Honestly, kind of glad that I didn't because every single day of my life I have a to-do list. Why is this shoe? Like, why is there a knot right now? Am I five years old? <laughs> but every single day of my life I have a to-do list which is amazing because obviously I know what I'm doing I can make sure I get everything done but today even though this is a productive day it's kind of nice just doing what needs to be done and what I feel like doing and we're still getting through what we need to do so that's also the main part <laughs> Time for some lunch. Oh my god, guys, I am so hungry. Oh my gosh, I guess I haven't really had enough food today because I had breakfast so early. I had breakfast at like quarter to seven, and now it is 1.42, which is the time I usually have lunch when I have breakfast at like 8, 8.30. So, safe to say I am so excited for this. Cal made this last night. It's kind of like a teriyaki tofu with vegetables and rice. I was going to make a Mexican salad because we have all of the stuff, but I'm going to make that for dinner instead. I don't know about you. In winter, I hate having salads for dinner because I feel like like a dinner you want a cozy comfort kind of meal which this is so I was planning on having this for dinner but I just have so much that I need to get done or want to get done that I was like I just want to throw this in the microwave while that's heating up make a smoothie and get back into work so I guess I'm gonna have salad for dinner such a first world problem literally who cares <laughs> Oh, this is so good. Okay, let's get back to finishing tonight's video. Because, Lord, I don't know how I'm going to finish in time. <laughs> oh my God, I finally finished editing. Okay, video is done and uploading. I haven't done the thumbnail or any of that stuff yet, but I figured it can just upload. Also, I dried my hair and I tried to blow it out and I don't know what I did, but I hate it. Like, I hate it so much. Like, it's making me angry, like, irrationally angry. I don't know if it's the way I curled it. I don't know if it's this color against my natural skin, but something is just, like, it's not giving. I don't know what it is. But anyway, moving on. Today, I got a bunch of packages in the mail. I'm so excited. I love when this happens. So I figured we can do a little unboxing of everything. So first we have this package from Loving Tan. I love this box so much. It's so cute. It's like pink and sparkly. And then they have the name like Loving Tan. I don't even know what you call this. Embossed? 
used. I have no idea, but it's along here. And I just got some more of their deluxe tan remover. I love this stuff so much. It is so helpful for getting fake tan off. And then I also got another one of their deluxe applicator mitts. These are also fire. I still have a code for loving tan as well. It's Beth Gould and it gets you a free one of these. So I'll put that in the description and also on the screen for you. Loving tan is so good. This beer is obviously not sponsored, but ever since I tried them, I have not gone back to any other tanning brand. I don't think I ever will, to be honest. Okay, next is this package from Haichi Skin. This is so cute. It's like a little instruction manual. And then I just have a note from the brand as well. So sweet. Let's see what's inside. Oh my God, not me dropping everything. Literally, what the f***? Stop. Oh my God, guys, they're face masks. But look how cute they are. I guess they're roll-on sticks. I mean, we can just look at the instructions. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's a roll-on mask. That is so cool. I don't think I've ever seen another brand do this. And there's three different types. Okay, we definitely need to do a face mask later tonight because I want to try this out. And then this is a microfiber pad for getting the face mask off. Slay. This package is not very exciting. I mean, it's exciting for me, but in the scheme of things, it's pretty boring. It's just the rest of my contact. Do you remember I told you last week? that I ordered three boxes of contacts and only one box came and I was like hello literally what well I emailed them and they were like oh it's just a mistake we'll send you the two extra boxes so that's what this is I'm excited to be able to see and then last but not least oh my god wait there a second oh my gosh I finally got a new ring light. Dude, this box is so big. When it arrived, I had to go downstairs to pick it up and I walked out the front and was like, oh my God, I literally have to drag this into the apartment, up the elevator and then into this apartment. But I did it and I'm a strong independent woman. I didn't need anybody's help, but I'm so excited to open this. This is so long overdue. I've had the same ring light since I started my channel in like 2019 or I probably got the ring light in 2020 and it's so broken, beyond broken. The tripod that came with it also broken the power point or power thing is Canadian I don't even live in Canada anymore so I've been having to use a travel adapter honestly this has just been a long time coming but let's open this so satisfying I feel like this box was kind of unnecessary because this one's only this high it feels like Christmas. So this is the newer 18 inch ring light. I don't know if 18 inch is maybe a little bit too big, but the lighting in this apartment, I struggle with so much. So I figured I could just get the big one and then I could maybe get a smaller one in the future for travel. Oh my gosh, this is fancy. I love that it has a carry case because right now I just chuck all my stuff in my bag and hope for the best. Okay, I guess this is like all the cords and stuff. This makes me feel professional. Well, it is huge. Dude, it is so big. Oh my god, we're actually holding it like this. I feel like this is perfect. Wait, we need to hold this up to my current ring light. Holy f it's like you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. Oh my god, I feel like a professional. Lay the house down boot. I do low-key need to leave, <laughs> like right now. So I probably should have waited to open this, but it's fine. Just never be too sure. Okay, sick. And then this is the light stand, so I guess tripod. Oh my god, this is so, so exciting. My tripod is also so broken. Wow. You know, the last couple of weeks, I've really been investing in things that I've been putting off buying. Let me tell you, it's worth it. It is so worth it. This just feels so... St oh. Not me just hitting my heart. I'm gonna kill myself before I can even use it. But this just feels so sturdy. Oh! I'm so excited. No, but for real. I'm very excited. Stay tuned to see this in progress. But for now, I actually really need to go because my friend Anna messaged me and said she was going to study at the State Library this afternoon and invited me along. And I figured that would be perfect because I have a bunch of editing that I need to do for that video that's going up on Sunday that I need to send to the brand and also a bunch of emails to get through. So I'm gonna go there for a couple of hours and really just like get done. This is what my to-do list feels like. This is what it's going to feel like after I finish everything. I don't even know if that made sense. Okay, I'm back because apparently the library shuts at 6 p.m. And we got there at like quarter past five. I feel like I just started getting into my work and then the lady came over and was like, you gotta go, we're closed. I honestly thought it would be open until like 9 p.m. So did Anna, but neither of us checked. So this is your reminder <laughs> to always check when things are actually open and don't just show up and expect what you want. Also, I took a kombucha with me. I just had it sitting on the table next to my computer. I didn't have it open or anything. And that same lady came up and was like, excuse me, can you please put the kombucha away? 
family. It's water only. There was so many people around. I was so embarrassed. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so I didn't film any clips <laughs> of me working in the library because I was like, am I even allowed to film? Like, I just felt very uncomfortable. Anyway, what the f is this on my pants? But we're home. So let's crack this bad boy open. Oh, yes. Yeah, ain't nobody gonna stop me drinking what I want in my house. <laughs> Woo. Um, no, it's fair. They probably have a rule. It's all good. Um, anyway, should we try out the new ring light? The problem is I can't be f setting it up properly, but I want to see what it looks like. <laughs> if I'm being completely honest. Which I am. Three, two, one. Whoa, oh my god, the camera can't process. Wowee. Guys, this isn't even the brightest setting. And look how much better this lighting is. Do you want to see how bright it goes? It's so bad right now because it's obviously like so dark in here. Okay, so this is it on the lowest setting. <laughs> and this is it on the brightest setting. My eyes are on fire. What the hell? I think we just need it somewhere in the middle, you know? Okay, amazing. Wait, I actually really like this. It does feel ginormous, but... It does mean that I'll be able to film at night now. And it will definitely help with my get ready with me videos. Because the lighting in them have been... They've been whack. Anyway, I guess now it's time to do all the work that I wanted to do at the library. <laughs> and then I really want to do a face mask. And have dinner and just chill. But the show must go on. The work must get done. So let's go do it. All right, let's try out one of these face masks. I don't know which one to try because they all do different things. This pink one is for anti-aging and detoxifying. The green one is blemish and shine control. And the yellow one is brightening and pigmentation. Maybe we should do the yellow one. Although the green one is such a like classic. Let's just go green. Let's just go green. Not me choosing off color instead of what they actually do. Also, I'm still drinking my kombucha. It does take me about five hours to finish a drink. All right, so the instructions say roll on the mask to face, avoiding eye area eyebrows and mouth. Isn't this so cool? I've literally never seen a face mask like this. Everyone I've had in the past, you've had to kind of like mix it together in a bowl and then apply it with a brush or it's like a sheet mask. I've never seen one in a container like this. This is so cool. All right, let's give it a go. Whoa, this is Sick. It's also gliding on the skin so easily. Wow, you know what? I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Sometimes I won't do a face mask purely because I can't be bothered preparing it and putting it on my face. Can anybody else relate? Surely I'm not the only one. It's just like such an effort. Pour out the powder, mix it together. Like, oh my God, I can't be this? This is a game changer. Okay, I think we're done. It says to leave on for 10 to 15 minutes and then wash off with warm water. So I'm going to leave this on and then I'll wash it off and let you guys know how I feel about it. But that was so easy. And since it's so easy, I'm sure we will try out the other ones in another vlog because that literally took like two minutes. The easiest self-care moment ever. I'm obsessed.